that's how I won my 12th European Cup. <laughs> I know, Eriko. You told me yesterday. I did? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah! What's going on here? My statue. What are they doing to my statue? Uh, I think they're tearing it down, Eriko. No! It can't be! No one touches Eriko Platana! I'm the greatest footballer in the world! Everyone loves me! Dad, who's that statue of? A uh, tennis player, I think. A real lowlife. <laughs> I knew it. The world has forgotten me. Today they tear down my statue, tomorrow it's my football jerseys. And then what? My cereal brand? They discontinued your cereal a month ago, Eriko. What? No, not the Eriko Pops! Don't look, Eriko. We both know you'll always be a star, statue or no statue. What is it? What's wrong? Ah, you scared me. I thought something had happened to him. Eriko, why is your statue in my bed? I couldn't sleep last night. Easy. Easy does it. You stole your statue from the park? I didn't steal it, Daniel. I saved it. And what happened to its face? Easy. Ah, easy does it. Nothing. It was always like that. We can't keep your statue here, Eriko. It's huge. And it gives me the creeps. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What a heartless thing to say, Daniel. Besides, it's only for a few days. Hmm, I'm not sure it's such a good idea, Eriko. Daniel. No, Eriko. Seriously, it's not a good idea. Oh, Daniel. It feels like you're not listening to me. I knew you'd understand. Oh. Daniel, you really got to stop with the yelling. I see it everywhere. Yeah, I made a few copies to confuse burglars. Can't be too careful. That does it, Eriko. I don't want to see your statue anymore. Not in the fridge, or in the living room, or in the shower. <sighs> Fine, I'll put it back in your bed. No! We have to take it back to the park. What, so they can smash it to pieces? Not in my life. Hmm, maybe we could put it somewhere else. On a roundabout? This statue is a monument to my success, Daniel. Its rightful place is in the limelight. But no one can see it if you keep it here. You might as well have destroyed it. Hey, you're right, Daniel. Everyone must be wondering where it is. Without Eriko Platana to show them the way, they must be lost and confused. We're coming to you live from the local park where visitor numbers have reached record levels. There's no doubt about what's got people flooding here. A brand new statue, which has completely transformed the atmosphere of the park, has just been unveiled. The sculptor Giuseppe Provolone explains. To me, the old statue represented the past. Money, fame, bling, it didn't speak to me. What really speaks to me is the simple life, real things. I wanted to create something that reminded us that deeper down we're all citizens of the world. Visitors aren't the only ones to have fallen under the new statue's spell. The silvery skunk, which hasn't been seen in the local area for over 20 years, has returned to the park. Who said animals can't be art lovers? Ah! They don't care, Daniel. My statue's gone, and nobody cares. I'm sorry, Eriko, but it's just a statue, you know? Daniel's right. It's not just a statue. In the end, it's not very important. That's true. It's super important! And I didn't even think it was that good. The chin was too small, and the eyes were all freaky. Exactly! It was a masterpiece. You can't just take this on the chin, Platana. It's time to make a 
big splash. Oh, yeah, and the way your lips were... That's it! You're right, Daniel. I know exactly what to do. That's great, Eriko. I'm glad to hear that, because sometimes I'm not really sure you listen to me. No time to lose. I need a big roll of duct tape, a hammer, a plastic bag, a chisel, plus a raspberry smoothie. What for? We're back in the local park where things have taken a dramatic turn. The new statue has vanished. In its place, a ransom note left by the abductor, which is disturbing, to say the least. Uh, how does this thing work? Nope. Got it. Hello! I'm in possession of your new park sculpture that was scandalously put in place of the statue of Erico Platana, the greatest footballer in the world! Allow me to remind you that he's not only rich and famous, but he also happens to be a social media influencer, a part-time model, an audacious businessman. Airtime restrictions mean we've had to cut short this section of the video, which spends 47 minutes describing the footballer's career and muscular physique. Philosopher and hairstylist. If you ever want to see your statue again, you must meet my demands. I want a new statue of Erico Platana twice as big as the old one. Or else. The video arrived with a piece of the statue, which had been chopped off as a threat. Investigations are underway to discern the motives of this psychopath. In the meantime, the park has been closed until further notice, leaving art lovers inconsolable. They took it from me! They took it from me! <laughs> oh no! Daniel, we agreed to turn down the yelling, remember? What have you done, Eriko? I sent them a message. Let's see if they care a bit more now. And what was this smoothie for? <sighs> That's enough, Eriko! This time you've gone too far! You have to take the statues back! Because of you, the park is closed, and that nice sculptor is very sad. It's a power struggle, Daniel. We can't give up now. Believe me, just a few more videos like that and they'll build me a new statue in no time. <sighs> okay, Eriko. But I might have a better plan. I'll need some rope, wooden planks, a drill, wheels, and multicolored modeling clay. What for? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, Daniel, what's this plan about exactly? <laughs> you, you dirty rat! Cross is Erica Watana, Daniel! No one! If you so much as scratch my statue, you'll have me to answer to! Yeah! The silvery skunk! Yeah! Daniel, what are you doing? Yeah! No! Well done! Bravo, Daniel! You're the one who made me lose control! Don't you act all innocent, Daniel! You wanted my statue gone, too! Just like everyone else! I couldn't care less about your statue! Well, I do care, okay? I'm a star, Daniel! Ugh, you don't know what it's like to give up everything you are overnight. I'm sorry about your statue, Eriko. But since you came to live with me, my life has changed too, you know? <laughs> yeah, how? I had to get used to waking up earlier because you don't like to sleep in. I don't watch cartoons anymore because you only like football. I had to learn to hold on when I need the bathroom because you spend two hours and 45 minutes in there every morning. And I wear lace-up shoes because you're afraid of Velcro. Gee, all oh, the sound it makes is terrifying. I, I didn't know you changed all that for me. I don't mind, Eriko, because you're my best friend. Ugh. We have to take him back to the park, don't we? Mm -hmm. A genuine miracle has taken place at the park. The new statue has been found safe and sound, putting a smile on everyone's faces. <laughs> it came back to me! It came back! The statue of Erico Platana has also resurfaced. The town council will proceed with plans to demolish it as soon as possible.
Don't worry, Eriko. As soon as you get your body back, <laughs> we'll build you an even bigger statue. That's nice of you, Daniel. <clears throat> uh, by the way, what was that multicolored modeling clay for? Surprise! Now you have a mini statue in the meantime. <sighs> what have you done with my chin? Let's meet this year's recipients of the Erico Platano Award! Wow! You have an award named after you, Erico? Of course! They even cast my head for the trophy. The nominees are... Martinelli, also known as the Field Thug. Williams, the kneecapper. They're all gangsters? Hey, easy with the labels. And last but not least, Gerald Sorbier, a.k.a. the gangster. He just recently got out of prison. But, Erico, your award is for the dirtiest players in the game. Whatever. People are talking about me. But how can you let your name be associated with that? Believe me, Daniel, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Daniel, what's all that? Don't tell me you're still a fan of Platana. He stands for the worst things in football. Dirty play. Cheating! Not cool. <clears throat> uh, no. Not at all. No, wait. It's not what you think. Awkward. Disappointing, Daniel. <clears throat> <laughs> Maya? Awesome. Great assist, Timea. Daniel? We need to talk. You know that everyone is welcome on this team, but this Platana thing of yours is upsetting the balance of the group. But I'm still on the team, right? Mm. Daniel, come here! They're talking about me on TV! Ooh, he did a nasty platana on him. That is not the sportsmanship we like to see. I'm not even playing and they're still talking about me. Awesome, right? Daniel? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Eriko. You'll always be my friend, but you can't be my hero anymore. What? I'm not good enough for you anymore, is that it? Not my hairstyling head! That's collectible! I've been kicked off the hazelnuts because of you. They don't want me on the team anymore. Wait, you've been kicked off the team? How are you gonna practice? How am I gonna get my body back? Uh, okay. Maybe it's time to improve my reputation. Don't worry, Eriko. You'll still be famous, but for the right reasons. This is people's reaction when they hear your name. And this is how we want them to react. Hmm. And how do we do that? So, here's the plan, Eriko. You know what people really like? Ah, uh, money? Dogs! You could adopt one, and I'll teach it how to shake hands, roll over, and fetch the paper. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it's a great idea. People love dogs. And people love people who love dogs. <laughs> okay, animals. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Platana style. What you're hearing is a distress call of the last humpback whale. The already endangered mammal was poisoned while in captivity in footballer Erico Platana's swimming pool. <laughs> Such cruelty sets a new low for Platana, whose insensitivity borders on the incredible. How was I supposed to know they can't take chlorine? 
Well, the good news is that at least everyone is talking about me again. We have to improve your reputation. This is a disaster. Maybe I could take the whale skiing or shopping. Hmm. You know what people like even more than dogs, Eriko? Ah, uh, money? No, clowns! You want me to adopt a clown? Better than that. <laughs> we'll hire clowns to put smiles back on people's faces. <laughs> okay, clowns. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Platana style. Erico, I'm not so sure about that. Hello! Ah, what is wrong with you? Hello! Ah, oh, come on! And then I told John, count me out for the Manafort case. <laughs> Hello! Ah! Oh, come on! It's not funny, man. It's not funny. Nuisance complaints are flowing in about the clowns working for Erico Platana. Platana, currently the nation's most hated celebrity, has another scandal on his hands. This isn't going well at all, Erico. But there's one thing that people like even more than dogs and clowns. Ah, uh, money? No! Clown dogs? No! Hmm? Hey! No! Apologies, Erico. They like apologies. Okay, apologies. I get it, but we'll do it my way. No, Erico, please don't! Platana style. The so-called apologies made by Erico Platana have disgusted people worldwide, sparking international protests and, in some cases, riots. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible human being. Hurricane Platana is still ravaging the coast, causing significant... Oh, yuck. I stepped in Platana. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What are ya? Some kind of Platana? Terrible. Daniel, am I a bad person? Uh, don't worry, Eriko. In a couple of weeks' time, everyone will have forgotten about it. <laughs> Eriko, I've been thinking about that whole clown dog business. It's over, Daniel. My career is finished. A couple of clown dogs won't change that. <sighs> don't say that. It's not over yet. Oh, yeah. Look what comes up when I do an internet search of Platana. Ugh. Look at me. I'm finished. I may as well take up tennis. Erico, what is that? It's my old blankie. It comforts me when I feel down. Also serves as a bib. Platana style! Oh, it feels like a bib that's also giving me a hug. This is great, Erico. Yeah, it's fantastic. Erico, that's just what we need. Yeah, a washed up football who can't get off the couch. Yes, that and your snuggle blankie. That's what we have to show people. The truth. That even superstars can feel lonely, sad, like losers. Hey, enough! You want people to pity me now? I'll be a laughing stock. Not a laughing stock, Erico. A human. <laughs> Platana style? No, Erico. Snuggle blanky style. Some days you feel great. You just want to grab life with both hands. But sometimes you're not at your best. At times like these, you can always count on your Platana. So when you're down and feeling cranky, pull on your Platana Blankie. It may not be chic nor elegant, and some may not want to admit it, but the Platana has managed to find a way into people's hearts. More than a blanket or a garment, the Platana is a new way of life in a high-speed, ever-harsher and relentless world. 
the Platana is here to remind us that everyone deserves a little tenderness. It's great to see you again, Daniel. You were right about Platana. All in all, he's not such a bad apple. You're right, Daniel. I've never been so famous. And look, people love me. Hey, that's great, Erico. Maybe in the future, the Platana Snuggle Blankie will be even more famous than you. <laughs> in your dreams, Daniel. And to wrap up our visit, you can see here the very first Platana. The original garment was named after its inventor, Erico Platana, who also played a ritual game called football. Dad, what's football? What's round and gorgeous? No, not me. It's you, little cookies! Those meringues smell great. They're not meringues, they're cookies for the Hazelnuts Bake Sale. Eh? The Hazelnuts Bake Sale? Every year we sell cookies at the sports fair to raise funds for the team. Wow, this is really good. I don't know about football, Daniel, but baking is definitely your game. I added a secret ingredient. Hazelnuts. <gasps> How'd you guess? What's your favorite nut? The name of your football club? The Hazelnuts! On your apron. The ha- hmm? <laughs> The Hazelnuts! Wow, you're one smart cookie. <laughs> hey, paws off, naughty glutton. Oh, there's Daniel! And his delicious cookies. <laughs> <gasps> This is the year we're going to strike it rich, Hazelnuts. We'll finally be able to afford chin guards! Ah! Yay! Yay! Those dulcet tones. Those perfect harmonies. That smell of warm laundry and of sweaters around shoulders. The, the Tennis, tennis club. club! Ethically sourced and freshly made. Come get your cookies before it's too late. They're so good looking. This is unfair competition. Uh, I guess it's another year of brew shins for me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know what this means. <sighs> Oh, hold on, you're packing up? It's a losing battle, Erico. Every year they steal our customers. We're not gonna be pushed around by tennis players. Such nicely combed hair. Such white teeth. Such nicely combed hair. Trust me, Daniel. If I know anything as well as I know football, it's... Hugs! What? Huh? No. Free hugs? Would you stop it with the hugs? Kisses? Marketing, Daniel. Selling stuff. What? Business, Daniel. Business. There you go. Thanks, and have a nice day, sir. Hello, sir. Care for a cookie? Mm -hmm. Wait, there aren't just cookies in this jar? Oh! 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 Look at all these filthy rags! I'm going to the stall across the street! We did it, Erico! But are you sure it wasn't too mean? There's no friendship in business, Daniel. That's how business goes. Yay! Business! We're getting those shin guards! Shin guards? Come on, you need to aim higher, Daniel. New turf, new bleachers, a water park. Wow, but we'll never make enough money for all that. Not if you work like that, that's for sure. 
Hmm? Yeah? What do you want? Ah, uh, I'd like a cookie, please. Pfft, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, can I have a cookie, please? What is she saying? She wants some cookies. What are you saying? <laughs> Hi, I'll take a cookie, please. Uh, thanks, and have a nice day. <laughs> you didn't give me back my change. Oh, yeah. Silly me. If you don't motivate your team, you'll never fill that piggy bank. <sighs> Do I need to encourage them? No! You need to fire someone to motivate the others. What? Trust me, in business, it's fear that drives people. Think about the new turf. You wanted to see me, boss? Um, yes, Steven. Uh, sit down. I wanted to see you because, um, um... Hmm... Say it! Say it, Daniel! You're fired! Uh, what I wanted to tell you was, uh... I knew it! You're promoting me, right? My wife's gonna be so proud! Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Just a minute, please. I can't do it, Eriko. Steven is part of the team. Bench your feelings, Daniel. Just fire him already. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steven, but your results are lagging behind your coworkers. We're gonna have to let you go. What? <laughs> That's my boy. Thank you for your help, and take care. Oh, man, what am I gonna do? I'm sure you'll find a way to bounce back. <laughs> My wife is not gonna be happy! Think of it as a new opportunity. <laughs> I knew you had it in ya. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hmm. <laughs> Hello and thank you. That's what I call a productive workplace. We can do better. Huh? To save time, no more saying hello or thank you effective immediately. Mm -hmm. We'll also be using more flour and less chocolate in the cookies to bring costs down. You sure, Daniel? People seem to like this recipe. That's an interesting opinion, Maple. Why don't we discuss it further in my office? <laughs> Congrats, Daniel. Remind me never to work for you. <laughs> All right? You know what I'm saying? Perfect timing, Eriko. I wanted to speak to you about further cuts we can make. Ah, that's my little money shark. Okay, then. Spill it. By my estimation, that's your 16th cookie today, right? Yeah. Sorry, Eriko, but you're eating into our profits. We're going to have to let you go. What? But you can't fire me. We're not just partners, we're friends. There's no friendship in business, Eriko. Think of the new turf. <laughs> you can have half a one. Consider it your severance pay. I've created a monster. Daniel is out of control. How do I bring him to his senses? Ah, what is this? Blip. Blip. Da 
Daniel, you've got to taste this cookie. Then, no time, Arago. I'm busy doing the books. Taste! <sighs> hmm, a bit dry, and the new flower is a bit bland. Notice anything missing? <laughs> <laughs> There are no hazelnuts in this cookie! Bingo! What have I done? The hazelnuts! Senior! Maple! Ah, the lure of a quick buck. Classic mistake. Happens to me every time. Hmm. <laughs> How do I make this right? Hmm. Hello! Oh. May I try one? Wait, there aren't just cookies in this jar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also years of expertise. A deep concern for a job well done. And a pinch of cinnamon! Huh. Aww. Aww. Now that's a cookie worth biting into! <sighs> there. Everything's back to normal. Yep, and at least we learned something. And earned a wad of cash. Uh, uh, in fact, I may have spent it all as an apology. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, Hazelnuts, gather round. I've got some exciting news. Oh, am I the new team captain? Captain! Daddy! <sighs> um, not quite, Steven. The mayor's office is looking for a young athlete for their new billboard campaign. Who would like to help promote an active lifestyle? Hmm? No way, Daniel. I'm not gonna play ball in some public ad campaign. <laughs> Did someone say, mm -hmm. handsome athlete? Oh, and what's that? The new official pro league football? Crystal. Crystal? Pfft, how pretentious. Oh. Oh. Twelve hand-sewn panels for extra precise trajectories. Micro-textured exterior for better ball control. Fully inflated on delivery. Oh. No one overshadows Platana. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Sisu? You think you're better than me with your beach ball? <laughs> now come on, Hazelnuts. Let's all be good sports. Yeah, with a duel and lasers and explosions! And snakes! Ooh! Stop. Violence is never the answer. But we can easily sort this out in a fair and fun way. On your mark, stars of the future! Boom! You said there'd be lasers! The first one to cross the finish line gets their face on the billboard! Hang on! Hmm? Wait for me! Uh, Steven? Yeah, that's me! Ah! You're covered in bugs! Oh, this? It's nothing special, just my old lucky football! They're more scared of you than you are of them. Hmm. Erico, we're gonna play together. Focus, Daniel. You have to win the head game first. Tackle your opponent's mind. Nice hairdo. Tell me, do they make those for football players? <laughs> you know, I always thought you were a decent player. A flute player? <laughs> Number 10. Hmm? More like zero! <laughs> ah, I made a lot of players cry. Okay, let's go. I'll psych out Crystal, you deal with Larry. Ah, Crystal. Neon color, huh? Classy. For a bowling ball! Ah, Larry. Nice sweatshirt. A real champion sweatshirt. I guess it's fair since you're our best striker. Hey, don't you ignore me! Do you know who I am? And our best defender, and our best goalie. Don't know what to say, huh? Ha! That's more like it. 
<laughs> you smell good, too. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Set! Larry and Daniel, I guess there's no choice. Get ready for the intermediate level course. <laughs> no one ties Platana. No one. Plan B, we bribe Larry and Crystal to let us win. Uh, isn't that cheating? Cheating, cheating. Let's not get carried away. Erico. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You win, Erico. Um, mm, mm, mm. handsome. <laughs> huh. What are you doing here, Sisu? I've got a deal for you, Larry. Would you let me win if I gave you a cookie? No. All right, listen up. I need you to abandon the next race. Do we understand each other? Not enough for you. You know what tastes good with a cookie? A big glass of cold milk. Deal, deal. One born every second. I'll just leave this here and see you out on the field. <laughs> hmm? On your mark, future stars. Boo! You said there'd be explosions. <laughs> yes, Steven, you can have another try. Ready, set. <laughs> That's not cool. We had a deal. Well, I guess there's only one other way. What a race! <laughs> Too many bugs! Another tie? You're going to drive me nuts! I didn't want it to come to this, but I guess it's time for the advanced level course. Yeah! We have no choice, Daniel. Plan C. You attack me, and we blame Larry. You ready? What? Do it! Don't overthink it. I can't do it, Erico! I just can't! Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> no! I can't hurt my best friend! Daniel! Come back! Oh, man. That does it. Plan D. We eliminate Crystal. Yeah, too old. Bald. Too classic. Oh, here we go. This guy's a real pro. Uh... Hey, what about the check? Uh -huh. And the tip? <laughs> Lying low before the final, huh? Sorry, kiddo, but you've already lost. No hard feelings. You're a tough one, aren't you? You remind me of when I was starting out. I had a fluorescent period, too. We'll show that old ball. That's what real friends do. They fight together to the end. You just start in your career and bam. You come up against me. I mean, I've never lost a game, ever. So a public ad campaign, <laughs> what do I care? Hey, that's right. I don't care. 
about winning. Crystal needs this victory more than we do. Hey, you. That's great. Now we can do the last race just for fun. Yeah, Daniel. I may have gone a tiny bit too far. <laughs> There'd be snakes. Wait! Wait! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drop out of the race, Crystal! It's a matter of life or death! Drop out of the race, Larry! It's a matter of life or death! Let go of me, Sisu! Ready? Hmm. <clears throat> Set. Get back to it. Uh, are you really okay, Eriko? No, nasty beast. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Time, Daniel, the last time. <laughs> Chest control, nutmeg, acceleration, rainbow flick. Am I dreaming or is he about to score? <laughs> Go on, Daniel. Yes, yes. Yeah! What? Time out, Hazelnuts. We need to free up half of the gym. Aww. And get out the yoga mats. Time to unwind. What? Let's take a deep breath and... and empty your... your... your mind. Is this a joke? You finally start playing football and some tennis players kick you off your practice space? This is such a great gym. So cool, so fresh. Hashtag authentic. Hashtag? What's that? It's like an expression to describe a situation or talk about your feelings. I use it online when I talk about my life. Hmm, so that was a... Hashtag explanation? <laughs> Hashtag good call. <laughs> They're badminton players, Erico. Maple rented them half of the gym so we could buy new jerseys. You got new jerseys? No, Maple had to sell them to fix the roof. The football area is a sacred space, Daniel. But Erico, we still have lots of space. Today they take your gym. Tomorrow, what next? Your locker rooms, your showers. Oh, your squashes. <laughs> Hashtag eat your vegetables. All it takes is a little compost and a lot of love, you know. How much are they? How much? A little grouchy this morning, are we? Didn't sleep well? Well, you know, they're like kids to me. Do you take credit cards? There you go. Threw in a few extra parsnips for you. I knew it. 
They leave us no choice. This means war. Oh, no, wait. What about the practice field outside? Mm-mm. It's rabbit season. So that does it. This means war. Wow! Their scooters are so cool! You'll see how cool they are. Hey, aren't there any brakes on these things? How am I supposed to sabotage them? I'm sure there's a much better way to send them a message, Eriko. Send them a message. <laughs> Great session. We absolutely need to tell the others about it. Hashtag pro tip. Hashtag discovery. Hashtag wicked plan. <laughs> We're so funny. <gasps> there's even street art. This place is amazing. Hashtag urban culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Calm down, Eriko. Like Makebel always says, words are the bandages for all of life's owies. Advice from Maple? Seriously? Step right up. Come on and get your fair trade cotton bags. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to break out the heavy artillery. Erico, we're not allowed to touch the breakers. Lights out. Hmm? Oh no, the power's out. Oh. Oh no, the internet's out. <laughs> That's how it's done. We'll have our gym back in four, three, two. Wait. You know what? Maybe no internet is a good thing. We're always staring at our phones and never talking to each other. Hashtag elephant in the room. It's so true. It's time to look up, to reconnect and talk to each other. Hashtag disconnect. Hey, whose side are you on? <laughs> Is this the chestnuts gym? Yeah, come on in, guys, and take off your shoes. I've got a mango coconut smoothie for Xavier and two vegan cookies. Here? We failed. The gym is almost theirs. Don't worry, Eriko. I'm writing them a letter. And you'd better believe I'm not pulling any punches. I didn't want it to come to this, but we've got no choice. Yours sincerely. Sounds a little harsh. I'll put hugs and kisses. <laughs> hey, my letter! I'll give it to him later, I promise. Promise? Promise. But for now, there's only one thing that can save us. Steven. Steven? But why? <laughs> oh, no! Not that, Eriko! I know. It's the nuclear option. But we have no choice. Good evening. I'm Steven, but tonight you can call me Rap Daddy! Oh no. Please. Rap Daddy, Daddy's home. Look up from the telephone. Dance in your socks at home. Rap Daddy, not afraid to be brash. Rhyme for my family, not for the cash. I do the hip, the hop, the hippity hop. Why, Erica? Why? Sorry, Daniel. It was our only option. We'll get our gym back in four, three, two, wait! You know what? It takes a lot of courage to open yourself up like that. Hashtag open heart. Hashtag drop the act. You're right. I've never heard anything so heartfelt. Maybe we should all do the same. Hashtag open heart, Mike! <laughs> It's over, Daniel. We put up a good fight. We should know when to admit defeat. The gym is theirs now. Daniel? Trust me, a good cucurbit, it's always a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hey, Daniel, want some carrot cake? 
No thanks, Mabel. I'm here on behalf of the Hazelnuts. There's nowhere left for us to practice. Oh, yeah. Good point. Uh, don't worry, Daniel. We'll figure something out. Hmm. Here we go. A little dusting, move the furniture, and boom, a new field. And let's be creative, Hazelnuts. At least we can't hear them anymore. Hashtag music festival! Aww. We've tried everything, Erico. Graffiti, rap daddy, even my letter didn't work. Your letter? Hmm? Oh, yeah, your letter. You gave it to them, right? Erico? Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to read it to them, whether you like it or not. Never negotiate with the enemy. Of course you don't. You don't even talk to your best friend. There's nothing authentic about this gym anymore. Hashtag overrated. Oh! There's a new sports center two blocks from here. And it's in an old fish market. Hashtag freshness. Hashtag authentic. The sewing class, the trampoline area. Wait! Don't go! I haven't paid off my new mixer yet! Stay! I beg you! I ordered a hundred bottles of milk! Soy milk! Yeah! The bicycle polo class, the circus studio. It's okay, Daniel. They're gone. I told you so, Erico. Talking is the solution to all our problems. I didn't believe it, but you were right, Daniel. Sometimes, when it comes to fighting a war, the pen is mightier than the sword. Kids, I wanted to say how sorry I am. The allure of money led me astray. Never again will I abandon you. I'm so happy that Maple is back to normal. <laughs> yeah, back to normal. Come on, let's go back to practice. <laughs> Chest control? Nutmeg! Acceleration! Rainbow flick! Am I dreaming, or is he about to score? Go on, Daniel! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Now this is football. This is a disaster! Our line of children's choice is tanking! The Erico Platana styling head was a total failure! No one leaves this room until we have a new idea! There's... <clears throat> there's always that funny foosball table prototype. <laughs> yeah! I love it! You are fired! Even our factory manager has better ideas, and he's a panda! <laughs> We need something new, something different. Hmm? Hmm. And then I said, pass, pass! And I didn't know he was gonna pass, but then he made me a pass! What a day! Hmm. That's it! Platana footballs! High tech talking footballs that speak in Erico's voice! Every kid will want one! Yeah! Bravo! <laughs> Thank you. It was a team effort. Which reminds me. Everybody is fired! Lame. 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 You'd have to be a total moron to watch TV these days. 
Lame. Super lame. You there? I hate complaining by myself. Hang on, I'm drawing something for Mom. Hmm? Hmm. The composition makes no sense. Your color choices are horrendous. And you've crossed over the lines here, here, and here. That's not very nice. You're gonna be tackled by things in life. This is how you improve. So, are you coming or what? Hey, you! Love football? Love Erico Platana? What if your favorite football player suddenly became your favorite toy? Wow! We're gonna have a ball together! Best friends, best friends forever! <laughs> With the Erico Platana Talking Football, you too can become a champion. Best friends, best friends forever! The Erico Platana Football is always there for you. I don't want to move out. We'll make a great team, you and me. Yeah! Best friends, best friends forever! What is this lousy toy? I never agreed to this. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? No way I'm gonna let all those kids kick me around. Come on. It seems you're selling like hotcakes. Wait till my lawyers hear about this. Oops, sorry, Steven. Oh no, I camped in front of the store for three days. There we go. I'll always be there for you. Phew, I thought I lost you. The greatest battles are won with the heart. Does that mean you're not angry anymore? Go hard or go home. Yay, go home! Junior, do you remember that time Daddy sat on your game console? Wow, did you get me a new one? <gasps> Don't touch me, I'm super rich. Do you like it? It's, uh, talking football. It's all the rage with the kids. Daddy really broke the piggy bank on this one. <laughs> I'll let you guys get to know each other. Wow, nice decor. Well, I'm out of here. Lame, lame, lame. <laughs> Only a complete moron would watch TV these days. <laughs> <laughs> lame, lame. Lame. Oh no! I went over the lines again! To win, hmm? you need to think outside the box. You really think so? The greatest battles are won with the heart. I did it with my heart. We make a great team, you and me. <laughs> The sky's the limit. Thanks, Erico. You've been so nice lately. I've never felt so happy. The sky's the limit. Erico. The sky's the limit. Erico. El cielo es el limite. Seven blocks. Solo Gaikenko. that or I swapped him with a toy. On this! Woo! No, he must be a toy. Or maybe! Erico! Now I found one of your action figures behind the couch. What is it? Isn't this a putrid marauder of chaos? No, that's an old piece of chewing gum. Huh, yeah, sorry. 
Ooh, I do love my dad, but sometimes, seriously. I know, right? Lame. Hey. What's up? Isn't that a putrid marauder of chaos? No one badmouths my dad except me. Hey, no one badmouths my dad except me. Mm. How do I take out your batteries? Uh, wait. What are you doing? It's me, your BFF. <laughs> Hey, there's something wrong with your kid. What? Is Junior sick? Oh, I had to pick the Einstein family. They're as bad as each other. I won't let some toy talk smack about my son or his father. Dad, have uh. you seen my football? No, 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 no. This ball is a bad influence. I'm taking it back to the store right this second. Yes, I hope you kept the receipt. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, Pops! Uh, let's go! I don't have all day! Uh, uh, Erico! Erico! It's scandalous! <sighs> Martin, we've got another defective ball. And it insulted my son! Hmm. Oh, freedom! Whoa! I want to speak with my lawyer! <gasps> oh, I'm never gonna find him. There's been a mistake. I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy. I am your best friend. Here we go! Here we go! Erico, where are you? Winning isn't everything. It's the only if you thing. Your own team your dreams will <laughs> come true. Uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. here. Open your eyes. This would be a whole lot easier if you were a bit more encouraging. Erico, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like the ball pool. I mean, I like the ball pool. <laughs> but in fact, it's not like the ball pool! Less talking, more doing, Daniel! I've always believed in you. Hurry up! <laughs> Daniel! Seriously! I can't do it if you criticize me all the time! If you listen to your heart, nothing is impossible. See? Believe in me, they're all encouraging me! Because they're programmed to do that! But I say something, I don't sugarcoat it! But at least I mean it! Victory is at your feet! Why do you think I'm always on your back? It's because I know you can do it, Daniel! Welcome, Eriko. I prefer a friend who tells the truth. Add some more blue there. Well? Hmm. It's... um... Uh, better. Hmm. Hmm? Here, Mom! This is for you. Hmm? Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's colorful. Erico, want to play a game of Good Doggy with me? Oh, yeah? What is that? You've never heard of Good Doggy? The Good Doggy. Lots of laughs, lots of woofs, and lots of bones. Pee on the carpet card. <laughs> oh, no. Good Doggy. The friendly game that will make you go woof woof. <laughs> Battery sold separately. You gotta pet the good doggy and tell him he's a good doggy and then he'll bark like a good doggy. Good doggy. 
Not now, Daniel. Hmm? I'm planning my vacation for when I get my body back. The Caribbean, Australia, Mount Everest, and the World Jet Ski Trade Show. Wah! We're gonna visit all that? We? Well, of course, both of us. It's a single seat jet ski. Hmm? Sorry, Daniel. Here we go. We'll still be friends once you've got your body back, right? <laughs> ah, good old Daniel. Good doggy. Good news, Hazelnuts. We found a sponsor? You found somewhere decent to live? Someone found my car? Well, that's something. No, but our new balls have arrived! They're made of 100% biodegradable cork. Thanks to who? Thanks to you, Mother Nature. What are these monstrosities? We can replace all of our old plastic balls. Because plastic... Pollutes and is very toxic! Daniel, what if I'm a plastic ball, too? You gotta hide me. You'll be safe here. Daniel, are you sure? Trust me, they'll never hurt you. There, there's another one. Bursting time. Let them in. I'll do whatever you want. Hmm. Even a game of good doggy? I'm discarding my grooming card and playing Scratch My Belly. Good doggy. <laughs> I win! What? Baloney! All my cards were pee on the carpet. Round two. Nah, I'm good. I'm not just gonna sit here gathering dust. Go see if they've calmed down yet. But make sure you close the door behind you. But if they haven't, can we play again? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Bad news, Hazelnut. Still no sponsor? City Hall found out you're living in the gym? I'm not gonna get my car back, am I? <laughs> Gotta say, it pulls good. No. We're going to have to patch up our old balls. The cork balls have biodegraded. Oh. Because plastic colors, but, but sometimes you need it. Oh. There it go. There it go. There it go. Daniel, finally, I'd lost hope. But I was only gone for 10 minutes. Yeah. What's going on out there? Is it over? Can I come out? I've got to tell him the truth. I've got to tell him the truth. But if I tell him the truth, he won't play good doggy anymore. Nah, whatever. Uh? I'm leaving anyway. What? <laughs> it's getting worse and worse out there. They're destroying all the plastic balls. Oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> 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 Lost again. Good doggy. <laughs> ah, that was a really nice game. Erica was so not ready when I played my pound card. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I know. I lied. <laughs> but he never wants us to play together otherwise. <laughs> You're right. I'll tell him the truth. Just after we play one last game. <laughs> hmm? There, that was the last game. Last, 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 last game. I win! Hmm? Okay, 
That was really the last game. Doggy? No time. I gotta get back to my research. Hmm? Hmm. What? What is all this stuff? If I can prove that I'm made of recyclable material, I can finally get out of here! Ha! Huh, of course! <laughs> I should have known all along! I have no idea what I'm doing because I never went to school! Hmm. Phew. I know what you're going to say, good doggy. I promised I would stop lying to Eriko. <laughs> but he's going to learn the truth eventually. So one last lie doesn't matter, right? Daniel? Jamea? Uh, I can explain. Hmm. Nice mohawk. You play guitar? Uh... Bass. <laughs> I've got good news and bad news, Eriko. Daniel? Why are you dressed like that? The uh, world has changed dramatically, Eriko. All plastic is forbidden now! Yeah, uh, for real? The end of plastic has thrown society into confusion and terror. It's a big jumble! I become a lonesome rebel in a world where recycle bins are no more. Recycle bins are no more! And what's the good news? I found the expansion to Good Doggy! Panic in the Doghouse! The Good Doggy! Panic in the Doghouse! Even more crazy content! More cards! More phones! More... <laughs> hours of fun for the whole family! <laughs> hmm? You okay, Erico? Don't cry. Look, a letter came for you. We're saved, Daniel. I've got my degree in chemistry. What? I just completed my online degree. Now I can take up my research again. Don't you want to play one last round? Not now, Daniel. I'm so close to the goal. So close. Hmm. I'll leave you to it then. Daniel, the door. Daniel? Yeah, you want something done right, you're gonna jump. Plastic. <gasps> plastic! Plastic! Anyone seen the plastic cutlery? Um, no, I just have the plastic cups. Oh! I've got the plastic straws! <laughs> I've got the paper plates! <sighs> oh no, actually they're plastic! <laughs> no! Plastic! Daniel! Oh, just you wait, little man. Daniel! Daniel! Lying to me, your best friend. Forcing me to play cards in a closet. <sighs> Making me get a college degree. <laughs> oh, me, a college degree! It's over, good doggy. Erica will never want us to be friends again. All I wanted was to play with you, Erica. I lied! You made a fake newspaper, a phony radio show, and a whole mohawk thing just so I would play with you? I was scared that you would abandon me once you got your body back. You should be ashamed! No one has ever lied to me like that! Also, you can be proud. You really went too far! Though maybe I was kind of asking for it. You disgust me, Daniel! But also, I admire you. Sorry, Erico. Thanks to you, I've got a biochemistry conference next weekend! Which promises to be fascinating. So are you angry or not? I... I haven't decided yet. Okay, let's make a deal. You swear to never, ever lie to me again, and I'll buy a two-seater jet ski. Deal, Erico. So, do you want to try the new expansion? Wait, I get something better than that. Imagine 
you are trees. Feel your roots run deep, deep down into the ground. Look, Maya, that one looks like a hippopotamus. Yeah, and that one looks like a dentist lost in deep thought. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, I don't like you hanging out with Maya. She's weird. We're just playing. We're finding shapes in the clouds. <laughs> clouds just look like clouds. Well, like cotton, maybe. Or like cotton candy. That one's kind of like a dishwasher, right? No way. It's obviously a jet ski. Shh. Oh, well seen, Mr. Ball. See you tomorrow, hazelnuts. And don't forget, laziness is just meditation in disguise. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. Now your nutcase girlfriend knows my secret. No one can know Erico Platana has been turned into a ball. Don't worry. If anyone knows how to keep quiet, it's Maya. Mom, Dad, Daniel's soccer ball can talk. Oh, no, I got it wrong. It's Tamea who never talks. You know that things can't talk, darling. I swear. Show them, Daniel. Yeah! <laughs> it's it's a game we made up. Hey there, pals, it's Mr. Ball. What's up? Nobody talks for real. Tell them, Daniel. Let's go, Maya. Say goodbye to your friend. Goodbye, Daniel. Hey, what's with that voice? I don't talk like that. Come on, hazelnuts. These crab apples won't transplant themselves. Mm -hmm. Maple, where's Maya? Well, her parents have pulled her out of the club. They think the hazelnuts are a bad influence on her. <gasps> and when I say the hazelnuts, I mean one person in particular. And when I say one person in particular, I mean you, Daniel. But don't take it personally. Oh no, Erico! What have I done? It's better this way. Your girlfriend is as batty as they come. <laughs> I mean, come on. The whole talking ball business, it's a bit... Uh... But you are a talking ball! I am? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am. We've got to get Maya back on the team. My prize from the baby beauty pageant, my vaccination records, and a reference letter from my mom. So, can Maya come back to the hazelnuts? We may have been too quick to judge you. I'm Mr. Ball! Remember me? <laughs> Why the long faces, Mr. and Mrs. Sad Sacks? Somebody stole your smiles! Stop it, Erico! This isn't me, I swear! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> See how annoying that voice is? Why did you do that? Because of you, I might never see Maya again! All the better for you, Daniel. Maya's a... Uh... You'll never be a winner if you hang around with people like her. If you don't want me to talk to Maya, then I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, go on and sulk. We'll see who gives up first. And then I told him the only way your jersey's getting soaked is if we play in the rain. <laughs> huh? It's a good one, right, Daniel? <laughs> Chocolate pistachio, your favorite, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I discard my doggy bone card and win again. What do you say to that, huh? Huh? Talk to me! Say something! Anything! That's it. You're upsetting me. I'm going shopping. <laughs> Who does he think he is? You don't ignore me. I ignore you. Wow. 
The little wings on the back is maybe a bit. <laughs> but then again, the sequins on the tongue. What am I thinking? I can't wear those. They're too weird. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Ball. Whoa, cool shoes. Did you get them? What? Me in those? Nah. Me? Nah. Me? I said the same thing about my frog sweater, but now it's my favorite. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Ball! I forbid you from not hanging out with Maya. She's amazing! For real? Thanks, Erico! <laughs> whoa, 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 easy champ. We still need to win over her parents. But how are we gonna do that? We'll show them that they have their own little strangeness, too. Then they won't have any reason to stop you from seeing her. But they don't seem strange at all. Believe me, Daniel. Everyone's got a frog sweater or winged sneakers hidden away somewhere. <laughs> Trust me, I've got a plan. Hello, I'm the plumber. We didn't call a plumber. You didn't? Oh, my bad. Ha. Well, now that I'm here, let's, uh, let's have a coffee. <laughs> Erico, no offense, but is that the plan? While I'm distracting the parents, you rummage through their bedroom and find their weird stuff. for weird stuff about your parents. Shh. Okay. Pretty cups you've got here. What's that, uh, porcelain? Crazy weather out there. First it's hot, then it's cold. <laughs> How do you dress for that, huh? So anyway, you two been together for long? I'm calling the police. Nothing! There's nothing! It's no use, Daniel. My parents are really square. They even iron their socks. Are all your books instruction manuals? Yes. No way! Don't they have a secret cupboard or drawer? Hmm? Grandma's hat box! Nice decor! Is it Swedish? Yes, still here. He's wearing a fake mustache. Come quick. Okay, you got me. I have a fake mustache. I'm self-conscious about my upper lip. I didn't hear anything. Do you hear something? <gasps> Daniel? Too late! I know your secret. In Grandma's hat box, there is... A hat? Mother's hat. Oh. Good job, Daniel. Bravo. I couldn't find anything weird, Erico. The only painting on the wall was a painting of a wall. We tried. That can't be right. Everyone has a wacky side, a loose screw. Everyone's a bit cuckoo. <gasps> Erico, what are you doing? I know what your quirk is. It's Maya. She's your pair of winged sneakers. Oh, yeah, that's it! What you're trying to hide is Maya! I know it worries you that Maya isn't just like everybody else, but that's what makes her so great! Without Maya, life would be so much less surprising! You should be proud of her and let her be herself! I think the boy and the strange plumber are right. Does this mean I can go back to the hazelnuts? <laughs>
That one looks like me on a yacht. Oh, and that one's me on a sailboat. And that one's a glass blower at his son's birthday party. Yeah. What? His son is a dinosaur? Oh! Wow! Look, Maya, it kind of looks like your parents paragliding on a giant cow. Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> ah, parents. Daniel, I'm counting on you to get my body back. Right, Erico. So you get back out there and you show them what you're made of. You got it, Erico. Go get him, champ. Yeah! Erico, my laces are untied. Yo. Penalty. Daniel, you're shot. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Shoot. Miss the ball. So I know you're terrifying, unstable, pig-headed. Mm-hmm. But I give up. Daniel is uncoachable. Go ahead, ask me anything else. Establish world peace. Take up tennis. Come on, can't you just give me my body back? No one has to know. Next. So about my dog allergy, I'm not sure your solution was a real game changer. Um. Huh? A game changer? Hmm. If I can't make Daniel a good fit for football, maybe I can make football a better fit for Daniel. Football Association, how may I help you? Um, uh, hello. This is uh, uh, Bobby Football speaking. <laughs> Robert Football. <laughs> the Robert Football. Are you kidding me? The inventor of football! Christy, guess who's on the line? Come on, say a name! Say a name! Guess! <sighs> Robert Football? Yes! The Robert Football! <laughs> <clears throat> Robert Football? Yeah. Yes? It's an honor, Mr. Football. Can I call you Bob? Yeah, no. Get a pen, son. I'd like to change the rules of football. Oh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Federation called, kids. There's been a few rule changes. Yes! Come on, you can't miss this one! Kick it! Oh, is this the Federation? Yes, it's Robert Football again. Here we go. Our goals now adhere to the new Federation standards. <laughs> Come on. There's no way you can miss this one. Mr. Football? No! You never bother me! New rule. There's no more need for a goalkeeper. Stitch! Mr. Football? New rule. Observing that these new rules favor Daniel. You think? Nah, never mind. 
Today was great. The rules are a bit weird. But still, today was great. Hmm? What are you doing? It's a game I made up. You can't let the ball drop. I call it stay. I'm good, right? Yeah. Shame it's not a real sport. <gasps> hey. Mr. Football? Are you really sure, Mr. Football? The consequences could be dire. Very well. When it comes to football, you're the boss. Hey, kids! Mm -hmm. Wait up! The Federation's changed its rules again. Aww. So, no more little carp. Huh? No more giant ball. Huh? No more big cages. Huh? And all the billboards with Daniel's face have been removed. Yeah! Yay! Now there's just one rule. Uh -huh. Huh? You have to balance the ball on your nose and keep it from falling. What? Oh, it's just like the game I made up. It's just like the game I made up. Just like the game I made up! Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> 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 oh, wow! Look at that! Got a genius over here. His body is one with a ball. It's as if his head was specially designed for this. I am done with football. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Aww, you guys, come on, stop. I'm not that good. <sighs> Welcome back to our live coverage of the World Cup final. The last spectators are leaving and the sponsors are having their billboards removed as the final game drags on and on. Who will be the first to crack? The German forward, Greta Moll, or... Oh, 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 I'm starting to have cramps! Or Daniel Sisu of the Hazelnuts. Come on, Daniel! Destroy her! Octung, I cannot talk! <laughs> this is too hard! Too hard! My willpower is fading! Oh. <laughs> and it's over! Victory goes to the unstoppable Daniel Sisu! People are already calling him the Platana of new football! Wait, what? I'm the world champion! Look, Erico, now I've won the Champions Cup, the Golden Football, the Crystal Cleat, the Silver Shin Pads, and the World Cup! Uh... Now I'm as good as you are. We're equals. Trophy Brothers! We're not equals! My trophies are actually real. But mine are real, too. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, then uh, get your trophies and let's go get my body back. Hmm. The diamond goal and the World Cup. That's enough to confirm he's a champion, right? I really have become a champion, Mr. Sorcerer. I'm as good as Erico now. Even better, some people say. What? I mean, yes, yes, uh, of course. I've heard a few people say that once or twice. Everyone says so. They're even going to rename the Platana Stadium to be the Daniel Sisu Stadium. You're not better than me! You didn't play football! You just bounced a ball in your nose! I changed the rules so that you'd win! Does that mean... you didn't think I could do it? Wait, but it was to help you. Don't take it the wrong way. Daniel! Daniel! So, do I give your body back? Do I not give your body back? <sighs> uh -huh. 
It's up to you. Get back up and kick with the inside of your foot so you can control it better. Have you come back here to make fun of me? <gasps> Erico! Didn't you get your body back? Ah, uh, no. No, the sorcerer didn't want to. So you didn't change your mind to come back and train me? Because you believe in me? What? <laughs> no! Okay, let's get back to practice. You got it, Erico! Mm -hmm. Mr. Football? Really? Everything's going back to how it was? Whoa! Thank you, Mr. Football! Yes! Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. How did you manage to lose only one shin guard? Oh, I don't know, Erico. <sighs> well, let's take a look through my old things and see what we can find. Oh. <laughs> You're too young for this. Uh, this is not mine. Oh, I was sure I threw that away. Aww. Are these drawings from when you were a kid? No, that's from a couple years ago. Sketches from my graphic novel. You used to draw comics, Erico? Uh-uh-uh. Graphic novels, Daniel. I've always made time to explore my many talents. Erica Platana is a complete artiste. Joel, the cheeky squirrel. All oh, the adventures we had together. His best friend is a talking tire? You bet. This project was pure genius from start to finish. But anyway, that's all in the past now. Why'd you give it up? No time, Daniel. What with games, interviews, selfies. When you're a superstar, there's no time for hobbies. Too bad you stopped. You sure don't have those problems anymore. Maybe not now, but I intend on getting my body back soon. So get your butt in gear, Daniel. Even better than the real thing. Erico, look! I made myself a new shin guard. Are you coming? We're gonna be late for practice. Wow. Just in time. I need a fresh pair of eyes. You're back to the drawing board? I couldn't resist the call of Joel. I've drawn pages and pages since yesterday. It's like it was always in me. What do you think? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, it rocks, right? I've already called ten different publishers. Uh, um, the drawing of the clouds is funny. The fight scene? You're holding it upside down. <laughs> You know what, Erico? Comics are nice, but you already know where your true talents lie. Of course. How could I forget? Now I remember the scent of leather, the squeak of souls. That was my real passion, Daniel. Shoe making! What? Ha! <laughs> Graphic illustrator, what was I thinking? Being a shoemaker is my true calling. But what about practice? Not now, Daniel. I have to strike the leather while it's hot. But you'll come to see me play, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll be there later. Okay, Erico.
Daniel? Ah, just in time. The Welton gave me a stitch, but I got the upper hand at last. You made me shoes? Not just any shoes. Platanas. The shoe I've always dreamed of making. Stylish, comfortable, and high performance. <laughs> I know. Breathtaking. Go on, try them on. Uh, I don't know, Erico. Go on, tell me what you think. It's just a couple hours' work, you know? <laughs> and a lifelong dream. <laughs> Well, am I a genius or what? There, uh... I've never had shoes like these before. <laughs> you better believe it. Good. I'll call the factory. Feet all around the world are gonna be singing my name. No! I mean, uh, shoemaking is great and you've uh, got a... Oh, got a gift. But maybe you should put that aside for the moment, you know? So you can concentrate on your real talent. Holy cow, Daniel. Of course. Now I remember. The applause, the glitz, the glamour, the beating of Dove's wings. Magic! How could I have been so blind? That's my true calling. No, Erico, it's foot... Abracadabra! <laughs> Okay, I might be a little rusty. Can you at least come see the match this afternoon? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You promise? Yeah, 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 I promise. Is it this one? No. Okay, then. Is it this one? No. No, oh, I must have dropped it. Huh? Of course! My nail arts kit! Huh. My makeup set, my hairdressing equipment, my old paintball gear, my DJ turntable, my ventriloquist puppet. What's up, Daniel? My propane barbecue. Oh, don't worry, I've got my volunteer fireman's helmet in here somewhere. Hey, what's this? rough around the edges, but inspiration takes time, Daniel. Sorry, Mr. Box, but you need to go away. It's better for everybody. Don't do it, Daniel! You can't throw me away like that without talking to Erico first! But he won't listen to me. You know how he gets when he's fixated on something. I agree. It's the only way. But if you do that, you'll regret it for the rest of your life! Don't pay attention to him, Daniel. You can never trust a puppet. But you're a puppet, too! <laughs> Daniel? Did you come to do some fly fishing, too? Hey! That's my stuff! You've got to stop this, Erico! Every 20 minutes, you switch obsessions! You'll never get your body back if you stop training me! I can't help it if I'm good at everything! Like I said, I'm a complete artiste! But you're not a complete artiste! You're not good, Erico! Sculptures are pretty average. Oh! But at football, you're a genius. That's more than enough. Huh. Gee, thanks, Daniel. I thought we were friends. I'll see you later, dream crusher. Hmm. Fine, Joel, you win. Erica will never play football again. Hmm? Hey! <gasps> Can I 
Can I help you? Or have you just come to shatter my dreams again? No, I've come to save them. Do you know what's in every frame of your comic? A gripping narrative and hysterical jokes? No. A uh, football. And do you know what's all over your shoes? Quality and a painstaking attention to detail. Plates! Your nail art? Football! Your hairdressing? Football! 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 I don't see what that proves. It's just a coincidence. It proves that football has always been your true passion. You put it in everything you do. Oh, come on. What about my ice sculpture, then? Wow. You're right, Daniel. No matter what I do, football always runs through my veins. But that's a good thing, Eriko. It means that you're really into your passion. And on top of that, you're a superstar! Oh, yeah? And if I never get my body back, what happens to the superstar then? If I really can't be the best player in the world anymore, what will become of me? The best coach in the world. And anyway, you'll always be a superstar to me. Oh, Daniel. My saxophone? Ditch it. My hand-painted plates? Ditch them. There's just one thing left. Ah! <gasps> Shin guards! Ah! I knew I put them somewhere.